Well guys, we are starting off the day, the vlog, at a sneaker event. Uh, I came here the other, probably about a month ago, and um, you guys saw I just brought a few things. I ended up selling about $300 worth of stuff. So today I have basically three full racks. Uh, we have a few pants like Carhartts, some North Face, True Religion. This is going to be sweaters and jackets. Then it kind of merges into jerseys. We have sneakers all set up here. If you guys know, all these are basically thrifted. I paid $5 or less for every single one of these sneakers. I already sold a pair of fly knits for uh, $60 when I was setting up. And then over here we have nothing but t-shirts. It hasn't started yet, people are still setting up. It's a very big event. I'm right in front of the trading pit today, which is uh, should be good. So let's see how today goes. It still hasn't started yet. I made two sales. I just sold a vintage sisters t-shirt for $35. Um, and then like I said the fly knits for 60 or 50 so we're already about $90 and we haven't even started yet So hopefully we you know, hopefully we do some good stuff. I'm gonna do a walkthrough later on There's a lot of vendors though. Like I'm talking a lot of people here Definitely more than last time I would say But we'll do walkthroughs later on Well, it's about that time five o'clock somewhere Got the blue moon set up, <clears throat> and I just tagged. It's about to be 12 o'clock. I think they open at one, so we still have an hour. We still have a lot of time, but I just priced everything again: pants, jackets, and everything's cheap. Like this dolphin stuff, forty dollars, for example. Uh, this Picasso jacket, forty dollars. But other stuff like this Pippin, I'm asking one twenty. Uh, like this bulls I'm asking 40. Oh, no, I'm asking 60 on this one So everything is set up good. I didn't put pricing on the sneakers I only put the sizing just because I want to try to take offers for example the fly knits that I just sold um, Someone took an offer and they offered more than what I was gonna sell them for so I only put sizing got a couple of people looking at uh, the jerseys right now trying it on My prices they said that their prices are good. So hopefully uh, we move some stuff today Ended up selling three jerseys uh, for $60. It was two soccer jerseys and one Toy Story jersey. Just made another sale. I ended up selling one of these for 40. It was a size XL. Now I have a large. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Thank you, bro. So I just sold those Jordans for $30. We paid um, $1.50 for them. If you guys remember, they were marked at $2.99. And uh, I got half off at the thrift store that day, so we paid a dollar fifty into thirty dollars. Not bad at all. So I just sold the Picasso jacket forty bucks. So I just sold those camo Jordans for twenty five dollars. Uh, we paid four ninety nine for them, five dollars, so I profited twenty dollars. Um, keep in mind, all the shoes that I thrift, I spent five dollars or less. So if I sell stuff for twenty, you know, fifteen dollar profit, you can't beat it at all. So I just sold him a Carlos Santana shirt for thirty dollars. Uh, I had it priced at 40, uh, he offered 25, I said 30, he said okay 30. Uh, that shirt we paid a dollar for. So I'm selling the Salem 7 hoodie for uh, $20. You can see what it looks like on. I don't think that version is reflective or not, I think it's just normal. It's hard though. Just sold the Atlanta jacket, $80. So it's been really difficult to vlog because they're playing super loud music as you guys can hear. But um, it's about three o'clock. The event started at one, so in the sense we're two hours in. But obviously I've been here since about 10 a.m. So it feels longer than it is. Um, but we're at $500 for today, which, hey, I can't complain at all. Um, stuff has slowly been moving, more clothes and sneakers. But hey, $500, you can't, you can't beat it. I just sold that hoodie that you guys saw for $50. Uh, you guys saw we picked them up for $2.50 each, so uh, $48 profit. It's hard. <laughs> so I had this price at uh, $45. I'm gonna give it to him for $30. Can't complain. Nice tie-dye Harley Davidson, super sick. So I just sold the Hector Laveau shirt, Laval, Laveau, I have no idea. Um, I thrifted it the other day for a dollar, we sold it for $40. So you guys have to think like, yeah, I might only be at $700 and 
some people might sell sneakers for $700, but I'm buying stuff for a dollar to five dollars and selling it for 50, 40. That Atlanta starters jacket, um, I paid three dollars and I sold it for 80. So it's like we're definitely making money, we're definitely making profit, and the profit margins are really good. Sorry, it's super loud. It's just this music is so annoying. So we just sold the Yeezy Season 3 jacket for $50. Uh, I think we paid $2.50 for that one. So again, the the profit margins are are unbelievable. You know, we're turning $2 into 50, a dollar into 50. Can't complain. So I'm selling a vintage Miami Hurricane satin jacket and a New York Yankees jersey, uh, 85 for both. So I just made a trade. It's not yet secured. We're gonna do it after the event, but basically I'm gonna give them this hoodie and this Y3 jacket. If you guys saw, we got these Y3 jacket at um, the Y3 event. I paid $100 for, the, or no, I paid $80 for the jacket. We paid $2.50, so let's say 85, and we're gonna get a pair of Yeezy 350 statics. So we'll see if that comes through. Cool, man. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate it. Thank you. How much? Um, I had it 60, I could do 50. It's brand new. Brand new? If you want to look what it looks like on you. Hard. And we were at the Cactus Flea Market. Yeah. So I just sold him the Beckham jersey and I sold him the hoodie. He also bought uh, two pairs of shoes, so shout out to him. So it's funny because everyone else is like taking turns like using these little carts and shit and then like these guys just pull up with the fucking the full table. <laughs> so the event just ended. I have the whole entire car packed. I have no idea how much I made. I'm gonna wait till I get home. I need to get some gas and then I'm gonna meet up with um, the kid that I told you guys I'm gonna trade the Yeezys for um, the Y3 jacket and then that jacket. Uh, he sent me the address, so we'll see. Statics uh, on StockX. If I sell them right now, payout's 350. We paid $85 for that. So in the sense, we're we're making what 200 and something. So let's see. Let's go meet up with him. Let's get the Yeezys. Then I gotta head back to South Beach. And oh man, it's probably gonna be about a two-hour drive. I'm not looking forward to it, but uh, yeah, let's get back and get these Yeezys. Well, and just like that, we have Yeezys now. I don't. They, I don't remember him saying that they were used or not, but they are used. Um, it is what it is, you know. I, like I said, I have $85 invested in this, guys. So, oh, let me get it out for you. So, they're not horrible condition. Um, you know, they are used, but hey, for $85, you can't beat it, guys. It is what it is. I'm getting a late night car wash and I figure, you know what, let me just talk to you guys. Um, which, now that I'm thinking about it, it's probably not the best because it's so fucking loud in here. Oh my gosh. Is it just me or did anyone else as a kid love going through the car wash? I thought it was the coolest thing, like seeing the bright lights and the soap and everything. But I just counted my money. I made just over $1,200 today. And if you guys think like, $1,200 to some people and even to myself isn't that much amount of money, you know? $1,200 nowadays is a couple pair of... is a couple pair of sneakers. But $1,200 is a lot when it's nothing but thrifted items. You know, every single item that I brought today, granted the Y3 isn't thrifted, but those are only two items out of everything else that were there. Everything else was thrifted. Me paying a dollar, two dollars, three dollars, five dollars at the most, selling stuff for 50, 40, 80, 60, 100. We sold a bunch of those hoodies. I think I only brought one hoodie of those back, the white hoodies you guys saw. We paid two dollars and fifty cents for each of those hoodies, and I was selling for fifty dollars all day. So we definitely made money now. Twelve hundred dollars isn't included with the Yeezys. Let's say we add another 12, 200 for the Yeezys. So I made about $1,400 today. Which $1,400 for, again, all thrifted items, you really cannot beat that at all. Let me quickly uh, vacuum my car, head to South Beach, and let's check on Captain, see how little man's doing. 